Hi guys, hope everybody's doing well today. So I've been noticing every time I brush Roxy that she's been having a lot of flakes in her fur. So I started looking for anything I could put on her skin that would put a little bit more moisture into her fur and her skin. So I ended up finding a video that a veterinarian had done. And it's a very natural recipe and I'll link his video in the description box because he goes over a lot of the different benefits that all the ingredients do for the skin and he goes into a lot more detail about it. But as you can see here, an up close look at her skin, she has lots of flakes and her skin really does feel dry to the touch. So I went on Amazon and I got all the ingredients that I needed. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I have all the ingredients I needed all laid out. So we're gonna start with two tablespoons of coconut oil, one teaspoon of shea butter, and two drops of tea tree oil. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix it in the container that I'm gonna be storing it in. So we're gonna go ahead and start off with the coconut oil. And we're gonna be getting two tablespoons of this coconut oil out. So up next is the shea butter. So we just want one teaspoon of the shea butter. And it was a little bit difficult getting out of the teaspoon, so I had to use my fingers. And the last ingredient is going to be the tea tree oil. Make sure you're careful with this and only put two drops. I had a little bit of a difficult time getting the drops to come out, but I only did put two drops. So now we're just going to mix this and make sure everything gets all mixed together really nice, which was a little bit difficult because the shea butter was really, really chunky. But take your time with it and get everything mixed together really nice. Another thing I had read was to put some coconut oil in Roxy's food. So that's also something else you can try if your dog has really dry skin. So this is what it's going to look like after you get it all mixed together. And I just put some on my fingertips and started rubbing it into her skin. Her hair is pretty thick back here and so I had to do a lot of rubbing just to get it down to her skin. And as you can see, she was wondering what the heck I'm doing. So I wanted to make sure I really got her skin really good. So I went in for a second application. Very dry. So after that second application, you could see that her fur got really shiny and her skin was really nice and moisturized. Her fur itself was really, really dry, so I wasn't really concerned with the greasiness of all the oils on her fur because I knew her fur would just absorb it. So to make sure it was spread evenly throughout her fur, I went ahead and got her brush and started brushing it in as well. And I think the brush did a really good job spreading it evenly. So the veterinarian recommended that she put this on twice daily and to store the remainder in a sealed container and keep it out of the sunlight. Between using this on her fur and putting the coconut oil in her food, the dryness and flakes that was in her fur are completely gone. So I hope this video helped you out if you're going through the same problem as we were. And don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you in the next video. Thank you.